relief, about 900 billion. But you know, that's relief that David and I have been trying to get for months, that Nancy Pelosi has now admitted that the Democrats held up because we have a new president now, so she can pass it. Well, how many small businesses did we lose? How many millions of jobs did we lose while they were playing politics with their life? We can't trust them with a pandemic. We sure can't trust them with our policies and our national security. So we're gonna have to hold the line here. But we also have a lot of work to do, like providing better health care options. You know, the Democrats wanna take away your private insurance that you get at work, your Medicare, they wanna bankrupt that system. What we have to do is make sure that we don't turn your doctor's office into the DMV. We don't want socialized health care, but we need to protect pre-existing conditions. We have to make sure it's affordable and accessible. Obamacare has failed Georgians. 130,000 Georgians have lost their health care because they cannot afford it. Well, that's not protecting your pre-existing conditions if you can't afford it. So we have to do better. That's why we need business people in Washington. But, you know, Democrats also know that the fastest way to radicalize this country is through our schools. That's why school choice is so critical so that every parent can pick the right education for their children. Look, I am the product of public schools. I was blessed to have a great education. It took me from the farm to the Fortune 500. And I want that for every child to be able to live their dreams so that they, no matter what their zip code is, they can have the right education, whether it's homeschool or religious school or vocational school or public or private school. We have to provide school choice. That's shocking. The Democrats are trying to block that. But there's more. We have to keep fighting for conservative values. As Congressman Ferguson said, they're under attack every day in Washington. We see it. We're on the front line. We have to hold the line here in Georgia and protect it. So it's, it's things like fighting for our Second Amendment rights. You know, Democrats want to tax, track, and confiscate our guns. They want a radical abortion on demand agenda. We have to keep fighting for innocent life. And there's more. It's religious freedom that's under attack. Free speech. Look at what big tech, the mainstream media, the cancel culture, the thought police have done to us already in this country. Democrats will not hold the line on our free speech. We have to keep fighting for that. Hold big tech accountable, hold China accountable, and make sure we stand up for conservative values. So that's where y'all come in. So we got three days to get this done in Georgia. So, you know, I need I need each of you to call five people a day or 500, however, however much you have time. That's why I said it's gonna be a very busy three days for all of us. And, uh, and uh, President Trump and David Perdue and I, can't, we can't do it alone. So that's why we're all on the same team. And you know, in Georgia, we have a great history, a tradition of football. So just think of this as overtime. Georgia's in overtime and the entire country's watching. So you know, my good friend, Marsha Blackburn, she has a saying, five calls a day keeps the liberals away. So I need y'all to call, text, write, email your friends, families, frenemies, whoever it might be, and make sure that they vote it. Make sure that they know where to go vote. 7 a.m. Tuesday is when the polls open. And if you've already voted, the great thing is now you've got a chance to go pick someone up who may not have a right to the polls, and they may not know where, where to go, or they may have questions about why is this important? This is important because the future of America is on the line right here in Georgia. I couldn't be more proud that Georgia is the state that is in this fight. So I'm excited, I'm motivated, I know that we're gonna hold the line together, right? Can I count on you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I love it. Thank you so much. This is a great team, I'm proud to be on this team. I know that together, we're gonna to stop socialism in America. We're gonna show America and the world that Georgia's a red state. And together, we're gonna to save America. Thank you, God bless you, God bless you. Kelly.